Hello everyone, I'm Jay from World Effects and today we're going to be um, doing a tutorial on how to create your own burn mark stock image um, using two programs, Paint.net and GNU Image Manipulation Program. The Paint.net method is um, very simple, you get a decent outcome, whilst the uh, GNU Image Manipulation Program is slightly more difficult but still overall not that difficult and you do get quite a realistic outcome. I'm going to start off with the um, easy paint.net method. So you start off with um, a new image. Wait for this to load. 2000 by 2000. It's okay. There we are. Now, when you get your new uh, blank canvas, add a new layer. And with black, in the paintbrush tool, here we are. Um, we're going to draw a jagged circle. It's not going to look like this in the end, obviously. Uh, yeah. Fill that in with the Booker tool. Go to effects, blurs, zoom blur. And now, basically, that's it. We just uh, put the zoom amount to 100 and um, make sure this is centered properly. Just OK. And that will render out. And there you go. So, this is a really easy method of doing things if you want a bit more of a realistic outcome. Duplicate your second layer from this button. And then add a crazy amount of gosh and blur to give it um, a bit of ambient occlusion, but um, there's no need to do that really. So yeah, just delete the background and you've got a transparent layer with a burn mark ready to be used in After Effects or another editing program. Okay, now we'll go to um, the GNU image manipulation program, create a new. 2000 by 2000 pixel image. There we go. Basically doing the same thing what we did before. Create a um, jagged outline. Like so. So, very jagged. I'm going to fill this in. Now we're going to get a smudge tool with a scale of full 10 out of 10 and um, a rate of lower than 50. I'm just going to smudge outwards. And there we go. Okay, now we're going to go to um, Blur, Gosh and Blur. And then, actually lower it because that's a ridiculous amount. I think about 100 will do. Let's see how this goes. We'll render it out here. That looks decent, believe it or not. <laughs> And then you want you're gonna add ambient occlusion like before. And as you can see I forgot to um add a new layer at the beginning, but using color alpha we can still get rid of the white background. Oops, it's okay. And there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to create a burn mark. Like create your own um, burn mark stock image in two programs that's paint.net and GIMP. Um, be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe for more videos, tutorials, and behind the scenes, and even some um, effects tests which will be coming on soon on this channel. And uh, be sure to subscribe, as I said, to Wolf Effects and Wolf Effects 2 this channel. And um, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.